Namaste. We covered three yoga sutras in the last video. Atha Yoga Anushasanam, Yoga Shchitta Vritti Nirodhaha, and Tadadrashtu Swarupe Vasthanam. And we also saw that through yoga, yoga as a tool, as an instrument, the chitta vrittis can be restrained. And if that happens, then the seer will get identified with his own self. He will be established in his own true nature. So now, if, if he is not established, if I am not identified with my own self, then what happens? So that's the next sutra. Vritti Sarupya Mitaratra. You see the meanings? Itaratra, that is on the other hand. If Tadadrashtu Swarupe Vasthanam does not happen, then else. Vritti, we have we already saw that is our the way we behave, uh, the tendencies of our mind. Yeah. Sarupyam, we justify on that. We be, we conform to our tendencies which are happening automatically. That is, if Tadadrashtu Swarupe Avasthanam does not happen, then the identity will be based on our own behavior and the external tendencies. We are not able to have a control of our own self. We get carried away with our, with our behavior and with the external things that is happening around us. So, it's like if the student is asking Maharshi Patanjali, oh, is it? This will happen. So can you elaborate on this? What is this? Because only if I know what it is, I can restrain it, isn't it? So we say that, you know, unless and until I, I know that smoking is bad, I will not quit smoking. It's going to affect my lungs. It's going to affect my immunity. If I know what it is, maybe then I will stop it like that. Okay, I don't, I know that, okay, this external tendencies and all are happening and all you're telling it, but is there something more to that? Can you explain this further to me so that I can understand it better? Yeah, so then Maharshi Patanjali tries to address this because he knows that his students will have these kind of questions. So he talks about vrittis as such. He goes into each one of it to explain much more further in the next sutras. Vrittaya panchataya klishta klishta He says that vrittis are of five kinds. Yeah, you've seen what is vrittis. Panchataya, pancha means five. Taya, kinds, five kinds. Klishta, it is they are one which is forced or distressed, yeah, disturbed, not so good, yeah? unpleasant. All these are klishta. Complex. Aklishta which is undisturbed, untroubled, yeah, pleasant also. So our the ways of behaving, our tendencies. Our behavioral tendencies, he's saying that they are all, they can be classified into five kinds. And these five kinds can be klishta or a klishta. There can be disturbed or undisturbed ones. There can be dis distressed or pleasant ones. Which is like, oh, I thought these vrittis are only uh, uh, unpleasant ones. Hmm. Now we are talking that it is also pleasant ones also are called vrittis. How is that? Then Maharshi says, no, no, vrittis are, ple are also pleasant ones because even happy tendencies do not help us to get identified with our own nature. In fact, don't we think that the pleasant ones are the ones which is 
distracting us more yeah when maybe disturbed thoughts are coming at least we will you know sit and try to find out and try to correct it but then there's something pleasant ones coming we don't even look at it it's like saying that when we have uh, you know when there is a challenge coming into our life then we then we run towards god and say that okay i will do this puja i will do that puja i will pray to you yeah i will do this i will do that for you please take away my problems but when one is very happy we don't even turn towards god so in fact at least i feel that the uh, aklishta ones are the more dangerous ones because then we'll think that okay it's anyway going fine so there is no need to improvise at all at least when there is a uh, uh, at least when there are challenges coming we might still look at seeing how to get over it but with pleasant ones we don't even get over it we'll think anyway it's happening well so why should i even try to change it yeah so these are the five kinds he says now what are those five kinds प्रमाण विपर्यय विकल्प निद्रा स्मृत प्रमाण विपर्यय विकल्प निद्रा एंड स्मृति स्मृत इज कमिंग बिकॉज ऑफ दि प्लूरल दट इज ऑल दीज द नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ सूत्र विल एक्सप्लेन ईच ऑफ दीज इन डीटेल ओके बट राइट नाउ विल जस्ट गो थ्रू दि the summary of these words and each of these vrittis we will go in detail because the next five sutras will explain pramana viparyaya vikalpa nidra and smriti in detail okay so pramana is proof or evidence or the right perception viparyaya or misapprehension so to have a wrong idea of something and or we believe that something is in this particular way but it is actually not yeah and vikalpa is imagination that we are very good at isn't it to imagine a lot of things to concoct a lot of uh, ideas into our head we think that somebody is thinking something about us and we come with our own imaginations okay so that then the doubt false notion if mentally we are occupied with certain you know uh, things we we build we make up stories we cook up stories all those are vikalpas then nidra the sleep yeah even in sleep we get into a lot of vrittis we'll go in detail anyway so right now let's just understand it in this manner and smriti is our memory yeah our memory also okay this happened on that day i remember it so whether it is pleasant or unpleasant our memories come forth and say us to do certain things or not do certain things based on those past memories so all these are the vrittis how is this becoming vrittis we will look into it in detail we will try to understand all these five kinds of pratis okay. we just chant all the five yoga sutras atha yoga anushasanam yoga chitta vritti nirodhah tada drashta swarupe vasthanam vritti sarupya mitaratra vrittaya panchataiya klishta klishta प्रमाण विपर्यय विकल्प निद्रा स्मृत 